you were the first and only elected official in PA willing to perform a same-sex wedding um, before it was quote unquote legal. Um, can you kind of explain why um, why you did that and why you were? Um, I just, uh, I, um, I, I've always had a, 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 a strong sense uh, for the, the rightness and, and, and um, it really was, um, um, a, a big risk. I, I, I didn't seek the legal opinions. I didn't get a legal opinion or anything. I, I, I said, look, I'm going to do this. So if you, if you want to, uh, bring those marriage licenses that were being, uh, being written out of Montgomery County, I will solemnize those. And, and, uh, we ended up performing almost three dozen, uh, same sex weddings when it was still illegal in Pennsylvania to do so. And I said, look, I don't care what the consequences are. Um, you know, I have to make the right choice. I have to do the right thing. And, and if there are consequences, I'll, I'm happy, uh, to pay them because I believe so strongly in, in marriage equality and just equality in general. So. Right on. So were there any ramifications for you doing that? What's that? Were there, did there turn out to be any ramifications for you, for you doing it? Yeah, there were a lot of threats. Uh, absolutely, and and uh, you know, and and uh, I, uh, the, the the governor, who was a Republican at the time, said, "Hey, you know, you're gonna, you know, get, uh, you know, you're gonna get yours." And they uh, were using the health department at the time to kind of be the enforcement agency and and what have you. And I just said, you know what, um, you know, you know where I live. You know, if you want to send the gay police to come get me, you know, go ahead. I'm not going to stop doing these. Uh, not, I'm not going to stop doing these uh, licenses, and I'm proud to say that all of those marriages that I solemnized during that period when it was still illegal, um, all became legal. All became legal marriages, I'm, and I'm really proud of that. And not only that, I actually uh, created a campaign ad for my Senate race in 2016, and I actually led with that. I actually led with marriage equality, and and that's never been done before by. Uh, a Democrat, particularly in a state like Pennsylvania, which isn't exactly known for hard left, uh, but I, I just, you know, I'm really proud of that fact. You know, my wife, my wife's a former dreamer, and and I also led with immigration, and I'm I'm proud to say that I, uh, about all the things that I ran on in 2016, um, I didn't change any of those things in 2018. You know, they've all aged really well, and um, I uh, I'm really proud of, of all of that, and. And I think these are, uh, I think the party is moving in the right direction, I think, uh, towards embracing these things, whether it's a $15 an hour minimum living wage, whether it's marijuana legalization, whether it's, um, uh, you know, all these different things that, that were once considered unthinkable are now, uh, you know, really much more in the, the democratic mainstream of our party. I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives. Have a kick-ass evening, friends. Keep fighting, stay in the game, and please, each one teach one. And if you have a few bucks, throw them over to Real Progressive so we can upgrade our video quality, our podcasts coming, and all the other things that it takes to run a major company that we're trying to become so we can kick some ass. All right, I'm out. Have a good night, everybody.